Hi everyone, my name is Ken Poon and I'm a UC Berkeley student and today I'm doing a presentation on the lawsuits between Apple and Kodak and this is for the class IER190G. And so um, let me do a brief introduction on what this lawsuit is about. And so Kodak has recently filed a new ITC against Apple and HTC on January 10, 2012 which is based on the infringement of certain Kodak patents relating to digital imaging technology. And what I mean by digital imaging technology is mostly related to technology for transmitting images. So unlike a lot of other companies which they're suing based on the design of the cell phone or the features of some cell phone, Kodak is suing Apple and HTC mostly on technology for transmitting images. And so, let's look at what the primary interest of Kodak is. So the primary interest of Kodak is they're trying not to disrupt the availability of any product. And unlike what's happening in Germany between Samsung and Apple. And so what they're trying to do is just obtaining money for the unauthorized use of our technology. And so what Kodak is saying is that the failure of companies to appropriately compensate Kodak for the unauthorized use of our patented technology impedes our ability to continue to innovate and introduce new products. So let's see if that's really true. So the blue line in this chart represents uh, how much money uh, Kodak needs and the orange line represents how much money Kodak actually is making. And so as we can see starting from the year of 2009 on, uh, Kodak has been basically not making any money and they have been hugely in debt. And so the reason behind that is Kodak is really uh, comparing to other rising companies. Their product is not new and innovative enough to catch up with the um, current moment and the current uh, generation at hand. And so that's why they're filing so many lawsuits against all these companies. It's because the problem is that um, Kodak is still stuck behind the, the glorious years of using films. And the problem is that Kodak owns over 10,000 patents, as they have been acquiring patents over the recent years. And they have been also considering the sale of 1,100 patents last year. However, uh, they've never reached much agreement. And so they, they've been just filing lawsuits against everyone, Apple, RIM, HTC, and a lot of other companies as well. And what Kodak is saying is that they need $1 billion in order to finance to survive this bankruptcy. And so what they're doing with these lawsuits is that they're not really, Kodak is not trying to um, innovate new products, but what they're trying to do is just increase the value of patents so they can survive. And so the problem here is the difference between operating income versus promoting technology. So clearly Kodak is not really promoting technology because they have been focusing their whole time in buying patents and then suing others that they've said been infringing on their patent technology. And so Kodak in the recent years, they're just trying to get operating income from its patent portfolio. However, is this really working for Kodak? Can Kodak really uh, come back from all these legal battle? Do they actually have these money to survive this, the length of these legal battles? And that 85% of digital camera technology uses some Kodak patent. And what Kodak has been doing is that they've been buying lots of patents that they don't want to use and they're spending money to invest in new technology. Um, the thing is, Kodak couldn't catch up with the technology, and so it led to a downfall of this company. And so what they're trying to do, of instead of falling desperately, um, they've been just buying patents to try to stop the growth of technology uh, in order to survive. And so Kodak is just restricting the growth of digital camera technology, and as we can see, this is a quote from T.G. Johnson that they're saying, he's saying that if you want an investment, buy stocks, bonds, or the like, you cannot just buy a patent and hold on to it like a house. You need to do something with it. So what Kodak is not doing is that it's not taking advantage of all these patents it has. It's just putting it aside 
and is not making excellent products, is not enriching society, is just trying to sue other companies that tries to make excellent products and enriching the society, like the Apple iPhone. And so the Apple iPhone 4 has a 5.0 megapixel camera, and also it can re uh, re record 720 HD video. And now the iPhone 4S can has a 8.0 megapixel camera, and it can record 1080 HD video. And as you can see from all these pictures, that the iPhone 4S is really great at taking pictures, and so it's actually fitting for the current generation and the current technology at hand. And so, this is the end of my presentation. What I'm trying to say is that Kodak is really what these all these lawsuits is about is instead of trying to use these lawsuits to get money, why don't we actually try to work together and actually promote technology and try to find a better way in improving our society at hand. And that's the end of the presentation. Thank you so much.